morning guys so this week we're going to talk about power tools and what we use them for and all the different things you can do with them so as you can see on the floor here we've got a Makita range by the way Makita range bloody brilliant range only the good chippies use Makita all the old guys use the vault so there's a good eight or nine tools down there that we use there are more it's just I thought I'd pull out a couple just to show you what to do so all the tools on the ground are all battery operated so you can use your battery on any one of them we carry about 8 to 10 batteries to charge them all and it should last you all day but today we'll start off with the planer nice easy one all you have to do is grab a battery like that it just slips on the back and you're ready to go the blade on the bottom slides along the top of the timber and it slowly takes away what you want to take away little demonstration I'll just put a little pencil mark on the side of the timber usually you use a ruler keep it nice and straight and you just lie your planer on the bottom there and you never go off the side like that you always come from the end that way so if this end is on that end you will come from this side that way quite simple there you go and you can just focus down to how much you want to take it down to. Good tool, does the job. And then we'll go to another tool for uh, instance, the jigsaw. It's a nice little tool for cutting little round holes because obviously the skilly can't do it. Pretty simple. Aim it up to the end, keep the blade away from the bit of timber, hit the trigger and off you go. And it just cuts a nice corner cut for you. There you go. And then our next little tool is a brilliant little thing for finishing or getting into corners. It's called a multi tool. Same thing, battery just slips on the back, clicks in nice and easy. And if you want to take a little bit off the bit of timber instead of the whole lot, turn it on, drop it in, and it'll just slowly cut away. You can go on any angle you want. A nice little check out for you. And then we go to one of the tools we probably use 90% of the time. It's already got a battery on it, so I don't need to put one on. It's a little battery skilly. You can get them in all sorts of sizes. We quite like the little one, it's nice and light, easy to carry around. Got a little hook on it so you can hook it up on the on a bit of timber so you don't have to bend over all the time. Excuse the foot, we usually have horse tools to put our timber on, but nice and quick and fast. Get a straight line, place your square there, you run that edge up against that edge and you'll always cut a straight line. Pretty simple. Perfect straight line. And that's what you want. Okay, our, our last tool I'll show you today. And by the way, if you want to know how to use any of the tools down here that I haven't done, just give my boss Thomas a ring and he'll explain what tool you want to know how to use. So we'll go to the next one, which we'll probably go for this guy here. Reciprocator. I'll just take the battery off that one. Same thing, nice and easy, slips on the end and then you can just cut out a piece of wood or usually go through nails. Usually a bit of wood is nailed to something, it's like a handsaw. And you just cut through the timber like that. But if you want a straight line, you're better off using a skilly than one of these. Thank you for the day and um, Hopefully it all goes safe when you are using tools because they are very dangerous things in the wrong hands. Uh, that's it for today and I will catch you next week. God bless.